Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. Okay, so we're pretty much wrapping up our website right now. What we need to do right now is focus on our leaks. Links, because if you scroll over these right now, nothing happens. It just looks like regular paragraph text. So what we need to do is we need to go ahead and kind of create what we did with our social media icons with our paragraph links or with our um, our web page links. So let's go to our index.html page and right here okay perfect so we have home services contact and about us so for our home we know that our main page is index.html and that's our big page because anytime you grab this website and you put it on a server or a web hoster the first page say your website's called www.yourlegend.com the first page you're going to it's going to go to is your index page your index page is your home page so what we need to do is go ahead and type our index.html and we'll close it out just like that. We need another closing a href tag, which is just an a, just like that. Perfect. And we're not going to do the whole target blank thing. Remember, we did this right here. That's excellent for SEO, but we don't want to open up our own web pages and new tabs. We want to stay on the same tab. We just want to keep clicking around through the same tab. If this was an advertisement, or social media or something of that sort, then we'd go ahead and type our target equals underscore blank dot home. So anytime we clicked on, you know, if we were on our services page and we clicked back to our home page, it would open up in a new tab. But that's not what we want. We don't want that. So let's leave it just like that. Nope, need a double parentheses. And let's look at our web page. Let's reload this. And blue should be highlighted, maybe with an underline under underneath it. That didn't work. Did I not save this? Maybe I didn't save that. Control save. Now let's see what it looks like. Nope. Okay. Indexed href equals index.html. I see what the problem was. We're on our about.html page. We can leave this, but we need to go to our index.html page because if we open this back up and we click on, we can't click on about. Let's just go to about. Whoa. Ugh, I'm blowing it right now. Let's just go to our index.html page. Services page, you can wait your turn. Index.html page. Okay, perfect. Now let's go ahead and do this. We'll do a href equals index.html, double parentheses. Now we just need a closing a href tag, just like that. We'll save this. Now let's reload this page. Home, perfect. And it it's purple because that means we visited it. It's already been visited. So let's do the same thing with our services, contact, and about us page. So we're going to go to, I'm just going to go ahead and steal this. Copy, copy, paste, copy, paste. But we don't all want to go to our index.html page. We need to set this to, I believe we called it services, contact, and what did we call our about us page? Where's our root folder? There's our root folder. About services and about services and contact. Perfect. About services. About just like that. Now let's put in our closing a ref tags. One more. Okay, perfect. Let's reload this. All right, this is our index.html page. So what we need to do now is we need to copy and paste all of this stuff right here and apply this to all of our other web pages. Let's go to our services.html page. And we'll just plug this in, paste, save. About, where's it about, okay. Save, and our contact. Open with TextMate. Scroll down here. Paste that in there, just like that. Now let's reload this. Perfect. Now all of our web pages, services should have all of them, contact should have all of them, and about us should have all of them. Perfect. All right, guys. Um, we have a web page, even though it all has the same content from our index.html page. We still have a, a website. We have a fully functioning 
website. So in the next video, I'm going to talk about adding a favicon and a, or a favicon. A favicon is that little thing that goes up here. You see up here, sometimes you see like the little Facebook thing or the YouTube thing or yada yada. Well, I think it looks pretty poor. Any website that doesn't have a favicon, uh, it's pretty old fashioned. I don't think I'm going to stay on it too long. So let's worry about that in the next video. All right, guys, good luck and thanks for watching.